Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. My brothers, my sisters, I am in Dubai uh, at a hospital where I frequently come to visit my brother Mahmoud. And uh, he is paralyzed from top to bottom. He speaks with his eyes. I think we have spoken about him in the past. And he always has a motivation. He always, I feel a sense of calm when I visit. And it's actually really, it's, it's really comforting when we visit those who are not doing well, pray for them. And we seek for ourselves also closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So today when I came in, it's been quite a while, uh, you know, he speaks with his eyes. He had said, uh, well, he had requested to make a video with a message for everyone. And I'm about to tell you what message he has told us. We've written it onto uh, little placards and we're going to share it with you. So he actually communicates with his eyes. And uh, each time the letter is correct, he shifts his eyes in a specific way. Uh, if it's wrong, he shifts them in a different way. And with that, uh, a word is made. And then a combination of words makes a whole sentence. And that is the, 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 the qudra of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How even if you cannot move, you can actually still communicate in a way. You know, it's insan. Allah's given insan different ways of doing things. So uh, I'm, I'm just about to show you. Uh, the message from the brother. Now, he's always filled with hope. He's always filled with contentment, even though his condition is so, so difficult for me and you. Uh, we need to know that, you know, people have resigned themselves to the decree of the Almighty, where they're not competing with the Almighty's decision, but rather they are at peace and at ease with whatever the Almighty has chosen. It's a lesson for all of us. Many of us complain when it comes to small matters, we complain. But if you look carefully at some who are going through greater struggles than ours, they are actually happy. They are actually content with the decree of the Almighty. So I'm here right in his room. I'm about to show you the message from him. And inshallah, I hope it inspires all of us. And I will actually uh, give you the, the, the breakdown of that particular message, inshallah. It's, it's a very, very good message for all of us. It's a message regarding happiness and contentment for all of us and the way we should appreciate people who actually make us happy because you and I sometimes we go through difficulty we go through hardship and sometimes there are people in our lives who inspire us who make us feel good who say a good word uh, you know when you meet someone on a good day and they only have bad words to say they can spoil your day but if you meet people on a bad day and they say good words, they can actually make your day. So which one are you? You need to ask yourself, do I fall in the category of those who spoil the day or do I fall in the category of those who uh, make the day for others? And in the same way, whenever we have people who would like to, uh, uh, you know, who are going through things, let's make sure we say a good word, a very, very positive word, inshallah. So uh, the brother, uh, we are just uh, getting ready. And inshallah, in a few moments, I will be uh, with the message, inshallah. Like I say, it's good to visit people who are not doing well, but there is a condition. The condition is you should not be disturbing. You need to know... Sorry about that. You need to know when to visit. You need to know how long to stay for. You don't overstay your welcome. You know, some people, when they go to visit those who are not well, they will sit there for hours on end, Yes, if you're needed there, it's good. But if you're not needed there, you go, you pray for them, you get a good word from them, and then you continue. I think we're ready for the brother. And inshallah, I will actually uh, take over from the sisters there, inshallah. And I'm going to show you uh, this beautiful message. You have the message ready? Just hold it there for me. Inshallah. Here goes. Bismillah. So this is a message of inspiration from the brother. Bismillah. Here goes. You can come and hold the sister if you don't mind. You can just hold it in a way that you're facing there, okay? Okay, okay bismillah. There it goes. Okay, mashallah. Right, you can see that? So this is a message. He says, my name is Mahmoud Qasim. So that's his name, mashallah, tabarakallah. You know how long it takes to just say the sentence? It probably takes almost maybe eight to ten minutes, I think. Yeah, am I right? To say something of this nature, it takes quite long, right? Okay, there it goes. Then he says... If you meet someone who makes you very happy. Now, this is the message I was saying a little bit earlier, that at times people make you happy. When on, on a bad day, some people can make you happy. And sometimes on a good day, some people can spoil it by their negativity, their negative comments and so on. So remember, 
if you meet someone who makes you happy, that's number one. Number two is when you meet others, make sure you're also a vehicle of making them happy. Get the message? Then we go on here. We say, he says, give him or her a vitamin H cap or t-shirt. So what this means is literally you can give them a cap or t-shirt of vitamin H. So you're giving them greater happiness. You're actually you making them happy as well subhanallah and you are appreciating them by giving them uh, an acknowledgement of their happiness so in fact you know in, in the hadith of the prophet ﷺ, he says when you love someone for the sake of allah you tell them i love you for the sake of allah the same applies if, if someone really makes you happy you appreciate it you thank them uh, the words of gratitude you know jazakumullah khair so many other words you can pray for them the prayer doesn't even have to be verbal all the time but it can be within the heart but here he is suggesting that you give them a vitamin H cap or t-shirt. Now, one might wonder, vitamin H, what does it stand for? So look what he says. He says here, vitamin H means happy. Subhanallah. Imagine he has spent perhaps maybe half an hour or more just getting this message across to you to say, not only should you be happy, but you should appreciate those who make you happy and you should be one of those who make others happy. Look at how we've actually given this message threefold. It's all about you, it's about others, it's about how you treat others and how you appreciate what, other, what others do for you. So that's our message, inshallah, from uh, Brother Mahmoud. And I really, really pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant him a miracle, uh, for indeed, uh, you know, he's, he's a, a great person. I feel a lot of comfort and calm when I come and visit him here uh, because obviously... Uh, we come solely for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order to fulfill our duty as Muslimin and as brothers uh, in, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I ask every one of you to pray for my brother here, Mahmoud, and inshallah I'm sure he will also pray for every one of you. And uh, that is something that you can really, really be assured because brother Mahmoud is always praying for the ummah and he's always concerned about so many people who are struggling even though he's going through his own. But he's a brother who is always, always content. So that's his message. MashaAllah. Jazakumullah khair, brother Mahmoud. We really appreciate it and we hope it can go far and wide. I will be putting this up on YouTube if I get his permission to do that. And inshallah, I pray that you guys can all pass the message. Be happy. A man of this uh, you know, level is telling you and I not only to be happy, but to appreciate those who make you happy. I hope I'm one of those who makes him happy because he definitely makes me happy. And all the sisters and everyone here who actually always assist so willingly. Uh, when, that's why I say when I come here, I feel good, I feel calm. Because there's no reluctance when it comes to assistance, when it comes to serving uh, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the love that we have for one another, for the pleasure of Allah. So, barakallah feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.